too much is just too much. And so this week I cannot give you a orderly presentation. So let's just dive into the chaos of watches, shoemaking, art and some other topics I discovered this week and some ideas I'd like to share with you. Welcome to Caseback Watches, my name is Tim and this video really needs timestamps. You find them here in the timeline and in the description because it was quite a chaos with, with schedules. I was in contact with three manufacturers for watches, they wanted to send me watches and uh, always is something wrong with the schedule. For one manufacturer it's, it's not fast enough, he or she needs the presentation very early but it's not sponsored so at the end I can do what I want but then they are, ah, this will create some problems with our marketing strategy. Then the other guy wanted the, the, the video very very late but not too late of course because then people are occupied by Christmas and so very complicated. A good example is the watch I'm wearing right now, it's a little tank. Very interesting, but I'm not allowed to mention a name and a model because it's still under embargo. I think this will be the watch for next week. I'm really looking forward and I'm wearing it yeah, since it arrived because I, I just love it. Then contact to Julian Kampmann and he had some problems with the delivery. Not his fault or good, but this these scheduling problems end here in the studio. And then I said, you know what, I'm um, in charge here and <laughs> the watch for this video is now the Taucher 1 by Heinrich watches. And uh, Mr. Heinrich was a bit afraid. What? The web website is not ready and I'm not prepared and please later, later, later. But at the end he was fine with that but he, he, I had to promise that I will state exactly the pre-order period. And so let's begin with a Heinrich number one. This was a very popular watch financed on Kickstarter. Heinrich watches is a micro brand from Germany and the watch is manufactured in Germany or was manufactured in Germany with very very fine components and a clear link to the 70s because this was a great period for diving equipment for dive watches because the designs were bold. The designers back then really had their balls and you can see this and so this was a very interesting well manufactured bold watch and I think sold out in a few few or the Kickstarter campaign was sold out or financed in a few hours and now he'd like to relaunch the this Diver 1 and luckily that watch is here in the studio so we can check it out in the light box right now. I really like that logo. Heinrich, the name Heinrich in Germany is connotated with kings and old empires and so very very nice logo on a very nice bracelet. Look at this. Wow. But let's do this the old-fashioned way with method and plan and so let's begin with the specifications. We have here a case diameter of 41 millimeters, a length lock to lock of 47.8, height is 13.6 and the lug width here is 20. So very modern and very contemporary in size but the design of course is highly inspired by 70s brutalistic. See that? A lot of edges and you really have to see this thing here as a tool with some nice elements. So let's begin with the dial here. Massive loom, um, super luminova in a custom color orange and I was wondering if this is so great with the, with the green. At the beginning I thought ah hmm, not sure but no it's growing on me. I can't see the idea behind that. Um, a bit disappointing is the impact of the loom to be honest. I put every watch for a review in front of a very strong light bulb and then I take an image in a dark room and this is the result here and it looks beautiful, just beautiful but it's not very strong, it's not very strong. But I cannot tell if this is a prototype thing or not to be honest, not really sure. So then we have a 120 click bezel with a very 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 nice action here. Feels tight and precise and great. Overall until now I didn't find any sort of floor or sloppiness. It's just a really really well manufactured product I must say. Very very nice. But now back to the bezel here. The insert, oh, I forgot the bezel. I think this is ceramic. Wolfgang help me out in the comments please. I think I recall that this is a ceramic insert here. Then we have a screw down crown also with a very tooly look and inside we find the cylinder SW201 Elaboré and in this new batch without a ghost position. The first Taucher 1 came with a ghost 
position and not everybody likes that. And we have some other little enhancements. For example, optimized loom. So I hope this is the old loom and the new loom is then way better and some, some minor changes. Um, very nice to look at is the bracelet, also very 70s. We have a diver extension so that you can wear the watch very quickly over your diving suit and you can put it back in position just like that. Again, feels very good, feels very precise. I mean, this is a rather complicated bracelet, rather complicated bracelet, but feels pretty, pretty damn good. And look at this, look at this, this decoration here and the case back. So there really is some thinking in it. And that's, by the way, exactly the reason why I always say yes when Wolfgang Heinrich me asks to review a watch. It's not necessarily my genre, especially not in, in winter in northern Germany, but I really can value and appreciate the thinking and the, the attention to detail that you see here and the knowledge. So very, very, very nice. And the case is also interesting because it's brutalistic as said, but you also have some nice aspects and these details here like the, this pattern here add a bit to the, to the charm, to the retro charm of this watch. And now let's operate it. Screw down crown as mentioned. Did I mention the water, water resistance? I think I've forgotten this. So 200 meters, 200 meters is the water resistance. And as said, we don't have a ghost position anymore. So just position one. Seconds have stopped and now you can manipulate the time. There's a little Easter egg on the second hand. Um, the brand Heinrich and Wolfgang Heinrich are located in Stuttgart and the TV tower of Stuttgart has this little has these red accents here. So a little Easter egg that I have blown <laughs> now. Okay, that's how to set the time, how to operate that watch, very easy. Let's close it again and now let's put it on the wrist. And there you see that this is really the maximum I can wear. I mean, the length 48 is pretty much yeah, standard size for watches, but you see that it has a massive impact massive impact so it's not the thing you wear in northern germany when you visit the library but i can imagine that some of you guys with bigger wrists um, could really enjoy that piece for vacation holidays sport activities in your car very special look here very special look yeah i'm really a fan of that bracelet i mean for me it's too big but you really see the quality here okay price and availability as promised the price here is 799 euros. Um, this is without VAT and translated into dollars, something like 750 US dollars, I think. And there will be four colors available and you can pre-order the watch right now. You find a link in the description until December the 15th. Okay, this is the period for pre-order from now on until December 15th. And there are 30 30 of these green watches and delivery for them will take place in January 2023 and the next the next batch comes then in May 2023 or the other colors. Okay, this was the watch and now let's let's carry on with the chaos. I was slightly distracted by shoemaking, believe it or not, shoemaking because I have some repairs here. The cobbler is booked out and the waiting time was several weeks and so I thought Tim, you're a leather worker, let's do it yourself. Let's do it here in the workshop. And so I ordered some equipment and I started with heel repair. I repaired the heels for two pairs of shoes and I can tell you it's really not rocket science. Everybody with a bit of equipment and a bit of capability working with your hands can do it. And it's absolutely unreasonable to do it yourself because the cobbler is faster than you. He's absolutely more efficient with that task but when he's booked out and and to be honest I, I wanted to to prove myself that I can do it and so again I started with heels easy pretty easy task and then I wanted to replace soles and this is an entirely different story because here you cannot work only with glue here too you, you have to sew leather and you have to be capable to do it with your hands because nobody has this specialized machine, right? And so that went well. And the idea for this shoe, by the way, is to replace the sole. There was a very fat sole under it. These are nice Budapest shoes by Kaviv and the sole was just stiff and uncomfortable. And so I ripped everything off. I didn't like the, the entire heel block, the sole, 
and the job is now to replace the thick sole with a thin sole and on top of this thin sole I will apply a, a thin rubber sole you see there in the image and then I will reconstruct the heel block and so the plan here is not to turn myself into a shoemaker but to do these things just for fun myself just for fun because it's an amazing feeling when you walk or in your shoes you have repaired yourself it's just nice and when it works everything sits tight and just nice just beautiful and here you see my little collection of tools you have to start with that silverish thing unfortunately i don't know how to call it in english and i don't know how to call it in german that silverish thing on top then of course you need heels there in the center they come attached always a pair of course you need a high quality glue i've used a very traditional german shoe glue you need two hammers one for nails and one for leather you need a cutter knife sandpaper then ink edge for leather edges and you need pincers to remove the old heel the tool you see on the left is not perfect for that job but i couldn't find my other pincers and they are very important for this task and that's it that's all you need and then you can just watch one or two tutorials on youtube where you can see actual pros doing that job and then you will find out it's not rocket science it's absolutely manageable makeable doable all you need are these tools and a bit of knowledge next major distraction was the guitar i'm learning a piece September song, September song, and I wanted to record it for this video, but yeah, not enough time, but it's very beautiful. I give you a little teaser, okay, so that you that you know what you have to expect for the next video or the, the video after that. So I will play a little bit of the rhythm track. The melody, by the way, is this. And the rhythm is this. And then there are some great changes in the middle. D minor. This is a diminished. D minor. Now the voicing diminished. And there you It's a great song. It will be fun to record it in a, in, a, in, a, in a better way here, but I think I will play this for you in one of the next videos. And so this was distraction number two. And distraction number three was art. I visited a art fair here in town, the affordable art fair, where you can buy um, pieces of art up to a limit of seven and a half thousand euros. And so it's good to store some cash away, but you're not overwhelmed by high finance. And there I saw many interesting things. And the, the art I found most impressive was by Wolfgang Kessler. This is a German German artist born 1962 in Hannover and his gallery there showed some studies in watercolor for oil paintings. The oil paintings were immensely pricey but these studies were just marvelous. This size, roughly this size and price each I think 1600 euros and they were just so well done, so beautiful and so I'm sneaking around one of them. I'm not determined to buy it but this was would be nice 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 addition here for for the apartment and but yeah so they're very interesting not an affiliate part of this video by the way they have no idea that i mentioned wolfgang kessler and the gallery is kunsthaus hannover link in the description so if you want to check out this marvelous artist then you can do it in the video description and these watercolor studies they enhanced my own morale because this is one of my secret plans is to become a better um, illustrator i think i've told this um, on camera when i recall correctly but i have set myself a time schedule five years to learn to learn that craft to a certain level and of course with the proper plans for this week that and and this week that and this um, entire month is dedicated to creases and pleats how to draw creases and pleats with chinese ink and watercolors and so this was my task for let's say you know, several nights now and god is that difficult and hard and the the my role model is a certain comic book artist 
because he delivers this level of, of abstraction I'd like to see in my own illustrations. And so this is my creative plan for the next uh, weeks and months and the entire schedule as said is five years to learn that craft and I think my chances are okay. They're not great because I'm too old to, to, to start with something like that. But they are okay, I think. And when you're interested, in case you're interested, I will show you pieces here and there after pieces done myself. But I'm not very confident right now. I really, really have to learn a lot, but it will be fun to do it, to be honest. But now I'd love to show you some viewers' images. And this, uh, these, this collection here is sent in by Tough Guy. This is his uh, Nom de Guerre on YouTube, Tough Guy from the United States, California. Here you see Beverly Hills Rodeo Drive. And the watch is a Longines Master Collection Perpetual Calendar. And if you are a subscriber of the channel, then you know I'm sort of a fanboy of Longines because they have such marvelous designs. Good watchmaking, relatively affordable. There's really everything you can expect from a nice watch. And the next picture is my cozy little hometown, Montrose. Is this a correct, correct pronunciation, Montrose? 15 minutes away from downtown LA. And the watch here is a Moto Quere? mk3 jaguar this is complete new to me this this watch to be honest but it looks it looks big but it looks great for for the use in a car definitely very interesting very interesting image by the way this is one of the main reasons i love these images because because i learned so much so many so many um to think about here and these lovely sights the um, last picture you find here this is laguna beach friday morning with good friends coffee Cigar, Scotch and Tim. Yeah, that show off there on the monitor. And the watch here is a Stratton Curve. Also very interesting piece. Very interesting. And so Mr. Tough Guy, I think your real name is Wendy. Can that be Wendy? No, <laughs> no, I'm joking. So Mr. Tough Guy, this is a great collection. Thank you very much for submitting these images. And dear viewer, if you want to participate, then use casebackwatches at iCloud.com to send me wrist shots and nice sights from your area. This would be very nice. And I, have the, I, I had the idea, we can make a little contest end of the year that um, I will present you a collection of images, viewers' images, and then we all can vote what's the best for this year. And the lucky winner wins then yeah, something from the shop, I think, something, maybe something handmade from me. As a, as a reward and a, and a big thank you for, for submitting these images. And so don't hesitate, casebackwatches at iCloud.com. Okay, and that's all for this episode. I'm damn sure I've forgotten half of it, half of my, of my plans, but for this episode, that's all right. Yes, and that's all for this video. Um, smaller updates I will deliver on Instagram as always. So if you want to join me there, casebig underscore Tim. And now let me thank you very much for your attention throughout this, this chaotic video and until next time. Thank you.